AD, how are you feeling after the Woking result? Um, uh, frustrated, I think, more than anything else. Um, obviously on the day, um, obviously I'll talk about the penalty decision. Um, you know, on the day I never thought it was a handball and obviously looking at the DVD again, it was nowhere near handball and they swore blind it was at, at the time and um, you know, I'm just waiting for an apology to be honest with you because um, that was, um, we, we, were on, we were on top, we were comfortable to be fair, um, one nil up and, um, and that, that massive decision changed the game but um, we have to move on um, but um, I wasn't happy at all and even the build up to the second goal, the, the, the ball was, um, you know, obviously the lad used his arm so you win some, you lose some, Ash, but I was very, very disappointed after the game. And to add to the frustration as well, you lost Chris Stokes and Aaron Racine. Yeah. What's yeah. the situation with them today? Um, obviously, um, Aaron is um, going to have a scan tomorrow. Um, so uh, a big loss, that is. And, and fingers crossed, not as bad as we think or thought it was. So um, it's difficult to say at the moment. It's difficult to say at the moment. Obviously, no one's got X-ray eyes. So, But fingers crossed, it's not as bad as we, um, we thought it was at the time. Um, but like I say, we'll know more um, on Friday. Uh, obviously, you know, feel really sorry for him. You know, he's playing exceptionally well, um, and obviously with his injuries had in the past, then um, it's a big blow to him. Obviously, massively to him, but and also for us, for for the football club, because he's a, a big part of what we want to do. And with Chris Stokes, uh, it looked like a, his hamstring yeah. re reoccurrence. Yeah, no, no, not not reoccurrence of the same one. Um, we think he might have nicked his hamstring, um, but it's a little bit higher. It's higher up than the last time. So um, again, when somebody it's similar to Marcus Kelly, I suppose, when when you're sprinting for a ball, it's normally not, um, not a great, um, not not the best injury. But um, I, again, we don't think he's um, as bad as uh, Marcus Kelly's. Um, but hopefully just nicked it more than anything else. So will we see either Stokesy or Aaron this season now? I have no idea. Um, I would very much doubt with Aaron, um, but um, with Stokesy, hopefully. Yeah, because uh, you know Max um, and Tim are doing a fantastic job getting players back for us. Obviously, with the injuries that we've had, they, they, you know, um, they've been absolutely fantastic, mm -hmm. both of them. So, um, but like I say, it's. Um, it's a, it's a tough time for them, obviously, with these injuries that we've got. So um, they're, they're keeping themselves busy. Unf unfortunately, they are. You brought Bradley Jordan in for his first game. How did you feel he performed? He's done really well. We're very pleased with him. Um, he keeps the ball well. Um, he's got a very good football and brain. Got two good feet. Um, you know, he, he, he goes forward well. He's attack and attack minded. So I was very pleased. Obviously, you, um, he got tired towards the last 10, 15 minutes of the game. Um, but and I was very pleased with him. Very pleased with him. Moving on to Saturday, Barnet, seven games to go. Um, results haven't been great of late, but you're still in with a shout of the playoffs. Yeah, well, it's going to be tough. Um, we know it's going to be tough, and um, I just think that, and I've never really moaned about the officials, but the last two games that we had have been massive games for us, um, and they've not helped us at all. Um, obviously, with a debacle at, um, at uh, Southport, you know, with the rain and the thunder and lightning, and, and then the big decision um, against. Um, Woking, um, so they, they, you know they were, they were obviously massive for us. And but you know, like I say, it's um, disappointing. Um, but um, yeah, we've got seven games left, and just never know. But we're not giving up. Obviously, not, we want to win every game anyway. It doesn't matter if there's twenty-four games left or three games left. I want to win every game, so it doesn't matter. Um, but you know, obviously, people are talking about uh, you know Woking even going on a run. You know, they but um, you know they've got a chance maybe being in the playoffs, but. You know, we're a point ahead of them, so we can go on a run as well, so we've still got a run. You seem to beat the Cambridges and the Grimsby's, the so-called big teams in the league. Barnet are a big, big team, so yeah. is there something about we seem to beat these teams? and don't know, really. not... um, What I will say, you know, it's not for the lack of trying. Uh, even Tuesday, was at, the boys are fantastic Tuesday. Um, like I say, I think the decision was out of our hands. I know the last 15, 15 minutes we were we looked a little bit disjointed, but we're chasing the game. Then you know you go two one down, and um, I'll say the last ten minutes. Sorry, then you are chasing the game a little bit disjointed. Lost two defenders, um, but you know I can't fault the players at all. They've been absolutely fantastic, and um, it was a blow on Tuesday. But um, yeah, Barnet a very good team. We know it's going to be a difficult game, um, but they're all difficult. We've known, we've known it. Obviously, you know everyone. You know, except us, everyone thought we were going to be Braintree here and Welling here, but except us, we, we knew it was going to be a hard game. So we've said before, it's, always, it's a very, very tough league. Um, but like I said, we, we, we go out every game to win a game um, and, and to be fair to the players. Um, and they do as well. They give, they give it 100% every game for me, so I can't ask for any more. 
Next season, I'm not sure if you've got one eye on it at the moment. There's 11 players with their contracts coming to an end. Yeah, I had, I had one eye on it about two and a half months ago since I've been here. So I've always had one eye on it. Um, obviously, it's a bonus when you win games and we've been in, con in, in touch with the playoffs. Um, with seven games to go, and mathematically we're not out of it. But um, and like I said before, we've you know, I've been more than happy when I first came here that we'd, we'd have a chance. So, um, but no, I've always had, always had one eye on for next next season. Um, I, I haven't not said that, so I've always said it all, every week. Um, so yeah, we've got players out, and um, there's been players been offered. Um, there's been players that haven't been offered yet. So um, there's um, like to say, the balls in in my court and the balls in their court as well. Yeah, you've tied Sam down to another year. Yeah. You must be pleased with that. No, very pleased. Yeah, he's been um, very consistent. Um, he's a very good pro, very good in the change room, um, and um, I'm, I'm, yeah, very pleased that we've got someone with with his caliber and, and the way he's been playing and conduct himself week in week out. Um, you know, I think me personally is one of the best in this league. Um, so I'm more than happy that uh, he signed. Yeah, uh, against Woking, you brought. Luke Oliver back. He's been struggling with with an injury, and you named him captain. Yes. Is is he going to be your permanent captain? Um, no, I, I wouldn't say permanent um, because if he gets injured again, he's not going to be captain. So, um, you know, I'm like Ash. Uh, no, I just thought um, you know he's worked very hard. Again, he's a fantastic pro. Um, he's got a great um, you know aura about him. He's got he's a he's a, he's a leader. Um, so at the top, obviously Anthony Barry wasn't involved the other day. So. And Alban Gore was on the bench, so yeah, I've just thought you know he's he, you know it's nice when he, you know someone that big leads us out and um, go and see the, the officials before the game and but no in all he's just a great character. Um, obviously, it'll, it'll be he is and will be a very good footballer for us, and just pleased to get him back on the pitch. A little bit of sickness in the camp. Yeah, Yarid was obviously had to stay at home. Uh, everyone. Fit and well. Yeah, um, we've had we had a, the, the bug. We had a bug. We had a, Obviously, you upset tummy bug, and um, so yeah, that's gone through, gone through the squad really, um, like wild, wild uh, fire. So it's we've had about eight, eight players has been been hit by it. So, um, but Touchwood, uh, they're all they're getting back to hopefully, and even even Polly has had it. So, um, uh, so yeah, hopefully Touchwood, they're all they're all going to be okay, and hopefully it's gone now.